Hey guys, uh, here again with my IDI. I wanted to talk about the CDR. It's this tuna can looking thing right here, bolted to my intake tube. The CDR stands for Crankcase Depression Regulator. And uh, straight off the bat, I'm going to give you guys the part number I have. Uh, E3TZ6A665-A. There's the Ford part number for you guys if you want to try to find this later. But, um... Uh, it's basically a giant check valve. That's basically what it does. The purpose of it is when your motor's running and it builds crankcase pressure, it's to uh, control, uh, re relieve that pressure um, in a controlled manner back into your intake uh, system. And on the turbochargers, are the turbocharged motors or this one's a naturally aspirated motor with the aftermarket turbocharger kit, the Hypermax kit, but also on the factory turbo trucks. They typically are mounted on the intake tube or the intake box and are vented from the valve cover. On the naturally aspirated motors, they're normally mounted in the very back, behind the intake manifold, and going down into the valley pan. Now, they can't mount them there uh, on the turbo trucks because that's where the oil drain tube goes. The oil drain tube goes into the valley pan where the CDR um, uh, was going into the valley pan. I've also seen some individuals vent their crankcase from the inspection cover on the uh, on the timing cover where the injection pump bolts into this little plate right there. It's another place I've seen people vent the crankcase. But yeah, uh, you need to vent the crankcase because. Um, if the crankcase pressures become excessive, you can blow seals, and um, you can do your own research and conclude what you want to do, but I'm basically going to give you a, a brief overview of how people mount these and why. First is the traditional way, I guess you could call it, of where it's vented from the valve cover or vented from the intake manifold, and the... CDR vents right back into the uh, intake system and some people prefer to run a CDR because the arguments made that if you um, don't run a CDR at all that it could allow excess oil into your intake system which burns at a higher BTU and could create excess cylinder heat which in turn supposedly could cause head bolts to stretch and head gasket failure, but again, that's that's an area that's debated even among the uh, more knowledgeable individuals on these motors. Then the second way is to run the CDR um, uh, either on the valve cover or the, the, the timing cover there, or, or same for the naturally aspirated off the back of the intake manifold, and then uh, have it vent straight into the open air. It's commonly called a road draft tube, and it's where instead of venting back into the intake system, it vents back into the uh, atmosphere. Um, I personally don't like that for this truck, at least, because it's got some blow-by, and it makes me think something's on fire, so I don't like... Uh, I accidentally forgot to put this this hose on one time, and it was smoking from under my hood, and it was it was just the blow by coming out of that tube, and I thought something had caught fire. So, and I, I believe it also can create an oily residue um, as well. But then the last variation is venting the crankcase with no CDR at all, and just having an open a, a, a variation of the road draft tube, and just having an open tube out in the air. Uh, yeah, basically it'd be where this isn't hooked to the CDR at all and you don't even have a CDR. So, the overall general consensus among everyone seems to be, though, that um, you should verify it's working properly. I really don't believe uh, this is a serviceable item. Some people say you can clean them, but this is a wear item in my opinion, and you need to... Uh, I think the the mileage was replace them after every 100,000 miles or delete them entirely. And 
a sign that they're typically bad is that there's excess oil in your intake. And uh, if they go bad and stick closed, again, as I said earlier, they can blow seals. You definitely don't want one sticking closed. This one I replaced not too long ago. I got a deal on it off Craigslist. But, um, anywho, uh, yeah, they do wear out over time. I don't recommend cleaning them, but, again, that's your call. Just basically explaining the different ways people vent the crankcase because the crankcase definitely needs to be vented and you need to, uh, you really need to check and make sure yours is, is doing what it's supposed to do. Um, I'm going to show you the setup of my 93 truck real quick because I, uh, for at least the time being, I've deleted the CDR on that truck. Okay, so here's the 93 truck. And you can see on the air intake box, the, uh, the CDR hose goes down behind the box. And then normally, it goes right into the valve cover here on this factory uh, ATS turbo motor. And I just went to Tractor Supply and found a, a couple fittings that would go in the hose. I believe it's one inch and one inch, I want to say. And then I messed around at the parts store and found a grommet. I drove this truck right up to the parts store and found a grommet that would work uh, for my valve cover there that would hold that fitting uh, somewhat secure. Now I might um, I might modify this later on and I might either run a road draft tube or get another CDR. I'm still unsure about what I'm going to do there. Again, I'm just kind of giving you guys a brief overview of uh, the importance to vent your crankcase and what the CDR actually does. Um, feel free to drop your input on the matter because uh, <clears throat> I'm more than open to suggestions and what uh, what you guys have done uh, possibly differently. All right, have a good one.